Okay, I literally just did that so you could see my pants. Hang on. This isn't right. Yes. Dear Charlene. Hang on. So the neighbors can't hear me. Even though Briar can hear me and that's awkward. So today I'm doing a stream of consciousness thing for you because I don't want to break my streak of making videos for you every Friday. One on this channel, one on our channel, and I didn't have anything planned. But my main plan for these Friday videos on my channel is that I just tell you about whatever I've been thinking about the most that week, just to give you some insight, since you're on the other side of the world. So this week, since I got home on Monday from New Zealand, the biggest thing that has hit me is how much work I've put on myself for this summer. I didn't really realize it until I got home and looked at the schedule I've made my, for myself. And I basically haven't given myself a single day off. My two weeks in New Zealand was my two weeks off for the entire year, so fun. But what else? I can just hear Briar banging around in the kitchen and it's making me feel awkward because he can hear me. <laughs> Today I've been thinking about JK Rowling and I don't know if I told you about my divorce from JK Rowling that happened earlier in the year. I don't think I did. I like briefly mentioned it in a video, but I don't think I told you in person, Charlene. So basically, I mean the whole fandom has pretty much divorced JK Rowling. So I'm in the majority here. It's like the whole like Johnny Depp and everything, that stuff that happened and I like I wrote a blog post about that, so I don't need to really talk about it too much, but yeah, then today I was just reading some things on Tumblr and Twitter, etc. And she just she she does some weird things on Twitter sometimes and says some questionable things and it just makes me sad basically. I just get sad whenever I see JK Rowling continuing to make mistakes and not live up to this heroic vision we used to have of her as a hero of ours. Which I know, like, you're not supposed to idolize people or whatever because they will always disappoint you. And this is the biggest example of this happening for me in my life. So Harry Potter is like the closest thing to my heart and it's the same thing for like so many millions of people and you can't help but idolize the person who created that when you're young, I guess. And so my problem is now is that I still really, really, really love Harry Potter and that's not going to change. But I almost feel guilty sometimes as if I think that it should change because I don't like JK Rowling anymore. But I can't not love Harry Potter. I think the way I see it in my mind is that JK Rowling is a different person now than she was when she wrote Harry Potter. Because when she wrote Harry Potter, she was not famous. I mean, when she finished it, she was, but she had the whole plan already before that, so we can say she wasn't famous yet when she wrote Harry Potter. And I think fame and like the power that she has now, because she has a lot of power, just like as an influencer, not like literally, I don't know. I think that the power has gotten to her a little bit and that it has changed her personality and her views on the world in a bad way. And that is really unfortunate and makes me really sad, but I'm gonna keep it out because there's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is just continue to love Harry Potter with all my heart and hope that she will someday come back around to the values and teachings that she put in those beautiful books. That was a little bit longer than I planned to talk about that. I don't know if you can see, but my face is covered in sparkles right now. Can you see that? I was face painting all day downtown and it was the first not hot day since I've been back. It's been like 32 degrees, feeling like 37, 39 every day since I got home this week, which is a huge jump from New Zealand. And normally I don't mind it if I can go to the beach, but I haven't been to the beach yet. And it's sweltering in the apartment because we don't have air conditioning and it's sweltering in the studio because our air conditioning is too small for the size of the studio. So it's just been a very 
sweaty week. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about the weather now. It's boring. I'm super busy. I'm sad about JK Rowling and I have sparkles on my face. Anything else pressing to talk about? This is the prototype of the um, flower crowns that Katrina made for my show. Stuff on heads. I think that's all I have to say. I will see you, Charlene, in your video, hopefully, that you make this week. And then you will see me in my next video. Okay, I think I'm done now. This is hard. <laughs>